preparing for this file is probably in terms of how they play tactically. It's one of the biggest contracts you guys will face all year. Yeah, look, they're a good team. Um, and we, we, we had a, we prepared for them well. I think the only loop that we were thrown for was Kikion and, and Johnson starting. Um, but we, we, we expected them to press us. I think the, the heat was difficult for both teams. Um, they, they're, they're, uh, they're a very mobile group, um, interchanging parts and difficult to play against. Um, but that being said, I thought we did a pretty good job tonight. I thought defensively we were good throughout the whole night. I think the first half we uh, we chased the game a little bit more than we would have liked to and didn't get a hold of the ball and connect passes to, to keep it. And that's when we ended up getting on it. The guys were tired, but uh, I think the, the guys came out of the locker room after difficult circumstances with the weather and the delay. And uh, we had a really good second half. I'm really happy with that. It's, it's tough, you know, you, you, you know, your guys getting their legs worked on, uh, you're, not, you're not fully sure as to is it 5 minutes, is it 25 minutes, is it 30 minutes, but it's something both teams have to deal with. Um, I think we were just happy with how we came out of the, of the break in the second half that we had. How frustrating is it when you come across a goalie like that and it's just red hot? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's like he, the save he makes on Connor is, is world class. Um, so. You know, we felt to get to that point in the game and we were in there and pressing. Uh, I was like, disappointed not to find a way to, to get one there. Uh, but you, know, you got to tip your hat to the guy. He makes an unbelievable save on that. You mentioned uh, Portland being a mobile group. Jack Dewsbury isn't. And was that something that you picked up on before the game or that uh, Danny Cruz picked up during one play? No, I, you know, I put Jack's, Jack's a good player. He's been a very good player in this league. Um, and so I, I think whether it's Jack or whoever Danny Cruz has run at this year, he's he's given every one of those guys a difficult time, I and mean, that's what he does. He's, he's a one v one player. He's got great energy. It doesn't matter who he's playing against. He gives people fits. Um, so, you know, for us, we we wanted to we wanted to go at both of their outside backs. That was part of our game plan. Um, I think we did a much better job of it in the second half. I think towards the tail end of the first half, we we, uh, we started to get balls in the wide areas. Uh, but you know whether that's whether that's Jack or whoever it is that we play against, it, you know, Danny's going to get his chances whoever he's running at. Jack Magner had a quiet night tonight, certainly relatively hot, uh, and perhaps you also some of his past games. Any sense of him getting sea legs back in terms of game action, or be satisfied with the level he came, came back at night? No, you know I think I think it's a tough game for our forwards, especially in the first half, um, just because we. We had to chase it more than we would have liked, and so when you finally get on the ball after defending for a bit, guys are tired, and it's hard to connect passes and make plays. So I yeah, think Jack did fine. Um, he was good in training when he came back, and it just wasn't an easy game to get them involved with for our side for the first half. I thought the second half was much better. Now, two more questions. Rob, when you look at the especially the team, was it easy to I think that, look, we have a we have a good locker room, and we have a group of guys that believe in what we're doing. And so I think it's hard to, to point at games and say we weren't in them. You know, I think this group feels really good about how we're coming out and how we're preparing for games. You know, should we would we have liked to come away with three points tonight? Sure. You know, but at the end of the day, yeah, the guy makes a world class save at the end of the game there on Connor's ball, and that's just how it goes. Uh, but. You know, in terms of where we are from a confidence standpoint, I think everybody feels pretty good about what we're doing. Rob, with a team like this, Zach Dable to post a clean sheet, does he seem like the kind of guy who can thrive off of a quality run like this? What have you seen from him lately that would kind of indicate that? Yeah, I think, um, I, I think as, a, as a group defensively, we were good tonight. You know, I think we minimized chances against a very, very good team. Yeah. Um, and so from that standpoint, our, our whole group walks away from it feeling pretty good about keeping a zero. Um, Jack made a couple plays tonight, and he had a couple really good saves to, to keep it zeros. But I thought our collective defensive effort was, was good. All right. Thanks, guys.